Hello, everybody. This is Cliff Kissy Boy Smith coming back at you with my entry into the Chevy Cheeseburger June 2017 Street Stock. You may recognize this car from its color, but um, it's kind of uh, changed just a little bit since I shot the, uh, the video. Like I said, it wasn't done at that time, and uh, I'm still tweaking it, but at this point it's it's ready. It's ready for, uh, for you guys to take a look at. Now before I do get into the car itself, um, I do want to say um, do not uh, comment on the video. Uh, just leave your score uh, anywhere from 1 to 20, uh, depending on how much you like this car. It's the 1964 Dodge 330. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done, I took the Lindbergh uh, 1964 Dodge 330 kit. Um, I bought it at Model Fiesta a couple of months ago. I bought two of them. And this was the, uh, the Dodge 330 kit that had um, the 383 V8 and the uh, Slant 6 with it. Um, I bought this bagged kit because I got excited because I was like, oh, wow, I'm going to have the Slant 6 and the 383. Uh, not the case. Anyway, so this whole kit was complete, but it didn't have the motor and there were a few pieces missing. So that's what I started off with, so I had to go and pick up... Uh, the AMT uh, Color Me Gone kit and this is uh, what I've been calling Minty Fresh <laughs> because of the color and I found this color on a video on YouTube Okay, and so the details on this car aside from it being the Lindbergh kit mixed with uh, mixed with the um, AMT kit is all four rims and tires come from the Mobius 1965 Plymouth Belvedere 1 kit. Um, I had those as leftovers from previous build. You may remember the villain. Um, this, this actual kit, the base kit, um, I tried using the decals from that and for some reason they must have been super old or something. As soon as they touch water, they disintegrate it. So these are actually the decals, the Dodge emblem and the, and the, and the interior uh, are emblems from the uh, AMT Color Me Gone kit. Luckily, luckily they released that thing at the right time. <laughs> um, so I went with the shallow and deep steelies, and I kind of like bare steelies, so. This time I went ahead and um, I made these hubcaps removable. So in the video I will show you how I how I did that. Um, as far as the interior, I do have still pictures in the interior, but um, just a little shot inside the window will give you an idea. That is not flocking. That is uh, a mixture of green and white. Um, embossing powder. I actually have a mixture of that right here so I can show you really quick. That's my magic mixture for the interior there. And the interior is a combination of white styrene, which I didn't paint, it's put a dull coat over. And then I mixed the sea glass green and mint green to make that a the paint from the interior that I put the uh, the uh, the mixture of embossing powder over. Um, as far as the color of this kit, this is actually Tamiya paint, Tamiya pearl green with uh, Tamiya uh, pearl clear coat over it. Uh, laid down pretty good, and I, I love this color, and it comes pretty close to matching a uh, car that I saw on YouTube. Um, let's get into it. Um, the thought behind this car was to make a sleeper, and I, I, I love sleep, sleepers, especially these old, quote unquote, ugly <laughs> Mopar B bodies. Um, 
So I wanted to make something plain Jane, but with a hot motor. And you'll see right now that hot motor. 426 max wedge. And so what I've done under the hood, we've got um, Fireball Model Works dual carter carburetors. It has been wired. I have uh, put fuel filters and fuel lines, run fuel lines. I have an actual uh, parts by parts radiator hose and the uh, connectors are the uh, hose clamps and everything. Those are made from uh, jewelry parts. Um, that wire you see running here is actually to the electric fan because I also used uh, parts by parks, um, these parts by parks um, pulleys. I uh, fashioned my own uh, wire looms. Um, and my favorite part of this motor is this right here. Those Fireball Model Works um, carburetors were so cool. Couldn't hide those details, so I made the air cleaners removable. And you can see I use watch parts to create brackets on the carburetors, um, and also fashion return springs, and then throttle linkage also made out of watch parts, which I was actually pretty proud of. That's the underhood detail. And uh, this I give credit to my brother for. So I want to keep it on sleeper status, but I made turn downs for the exhaust. You can see these are long tubes that came with the uh, 426, but then I wanted a full exhaust. I didn't want open headers. I want to keep it on sleeper status. I'm pretty sure the rumble will give it away, but anyway. Um, here, the connecting pipes are aluminum, aluminum tubing that I bent to shape and then made it to the Flowmaster uh, mufflers from uh, Outlaw Speed Shop. And then I wanted to simulate hangers, so just cut some music wire and kind of glued it on there. And then made some turn downs. And I give credit to our brother for giving me that idea. And so this is. Grandma at the car show, or rather, Grandma at the uh, at the old Piggly Wiggly picking up some groceries. And now we're going to transition into what you don't want to see at the stoplight if you're ready to run. And you see now, Grandma has gone to the uh, to the drag strip, strip, and she's taking off those hubcaps. And now she's gonna show her ugly side. So I made the uh, hubcaps removable, so I can actually pull them on and put them off whenever I want to, whatever how the mood strikes me, or however it strikes Minty Fresh here, her grandma. I also forgot to say on the interior detail um, that I made my own tack. That is uh, aluminum tubing um, with. The five-second fix to fill it with a with a um, clear inside and a dry transfer from a pine wood derby kit, and then I have a whole bunch of uh, wire left over from clearly scale, and I fashion my own back and mount to the uh, to the tax that would sit on the dashboard. And there'll be more detailed pictures in the interior for later. And I actually drilled holes in the back uh, panel here to get those tail lights to fit so I can actually spin them and try to make them straight. They're pretty straight. They could be worse. They could be better, but they could be worse. <laughs> so, here's a uh, Minty Fresh ready to run. And then Minty Fresh incognito hubcaps and everything still on her. So, I can't think of too much more to tell you about this, uh, so I'm just going to throw up some still pictures, have you take a look at those, and remember to vote on all cars, uh, not just mine, not just your friends, not just the ones you like, not just the ones you hate, 
uh, vote on all the cards. Do not comment on the videos. Do not comment on this video or the others until after judging has uh, has transpired. And I believe uh, from Chip's video, he said that the uh, judging will be ending on Saturday of next week, so a week from today. All right. Or I'm shooting this video on Saturday, so a week from today. So I uh, definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. I had a lot of fun building this car. Uh, it was pretty well received on Facebook and uh, on YouTube, so I want to throw my hat in the ring and let you guys see in more detail the 64 Dodge 330 that I'm calling Minty Fresh and give you a more detailed view of things uh, that I might have glossed over or forgot about in the, um, the original video that I released. That plus I wanted to enter the Street Stock, street stock Top 10. Let's see how she'd do. Just bearing in mind, she's always 99.9% .9 then. There's always something else I can do to her. Alright, folks. Y'all uh, have a good evening. Remember to vote on all cars. And uh, take it easy.